Hello guys, it's a warm welcome back to the channel. This is Alpha Omega occasionally. On this occasion, this is not a negative video. A lot of people think, and I said this before in my last video, which was a positive video, but this video may seem to be negative, but it's not. It's an observation. I am imparting some information to you. It's all about road rage in Thailand. And it's no secret that Thailand has one of the worst records globally for road fatalities. I don't know where they stand at the moment. I've said it many, many times, but they're right up there when it comes to road fatalities. And is it any wonder? And I'm gonna tell you what happened to me. I've had two road rage incidents in the last 10 days. Two in the last 10 days. Um, one of them was absolutely not my fault at all. The second one, I do claim, the one I'm gonna tell you about now, I do claim a degree of responsibility, but when you hear what I have to say, you'll say, well, I wasn't all in the wrong. Well, let's kick off anyway, and I'll tell you what happened. I drive here as a matter of necessity, not necessarily as a matter of choice. I collect my son from school. I drive him to school in the mornings and I collect him from school in the evenings. And in this particular evening, this is Friday, this would have been about Tuesday, I think. Not that the day has anything to do with it, but anyway. I was pulling out of the school. Now, as you can see here, we drive on the left side of the road in Thailand. So I was making a right turn. So I was coming out of the school, and as usual, the motorcycles, as you can see behind me here, the motorcycles are going this way and that way and that way and this way. So, I had to, as I always do, as you always have to do if you drive here, you have to have your wits about you. So I was pulling out, looking to the right because the traffic was coming from my right. And I was concentrating on the fact, foolishly, foolishly concentrating on the fact that the, the motorcycles would be, the, be, be on the inside lane, on the inside next to the sidewalk. But you see, that's not the case here. They, they go wherever they want to go. They pay no, absolutely no heed to the rules of the road, do they? I mean, come on, be honest with you. Be honest with me, I'll be honest with you. Anyway, I was taking full, paying full attention to the traffic coming from my immediate right because I was pulling out into their line, or into, into their lane. Anyway, I kind of nudged out. A little bit wasn't a nudge. I, I moved out because the car uh, on my right had stopped to let me go. But on his outside, a motorcycle, like a bullet, fired through without any, any care or attention. And I missed him by millimeters. And I had to stop and my heart was in my mouth. I had my son with me. I said, God damn. I was angry because even though I was following the rules of the road, I was doing what I could. Yes, you could argue the fact that maybe I should have looked beyond the car that had stopped for me to see if a motorcycle was overtaking him at a T-junction, which is absolutely crazy in the first place. But anyway, he shot, I missed him by millimetres, and then I pulled out across the lane into the left lane to proceed home. But because the traffic was so heavy, I didn't make it all the way into the lane, so the, the ass of my car was sticking out a bit. Within seconds, within seconds, and this would have been, I'd say, about a minute after the, 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 the incident that didn't actually happen, I didn't actually hit him. A motorcycle with a juvenile and his girlfriend, I'd say he's about 17, and his girlfriend as well, and they looked as if they were, let's say, born on the wrong side of the track so I'm just going to put it that way anyway when I say he was aggressive I not uh, he was livid he was on fire he was like a like a mad dog literally screaming and shouting and the thing that I did was wrong I let I put down the window and when I put down the window I indicated him like this I said go 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 I didn't know he was the same guy from earlier and I, I didn't know what he was on about. He was screaming in Thai. And then I heard, heard him say, cap lock my D. Then I said, that's the guy. And then the girlfriend starts laying into me. And he was kind of standing up on his two legs, almost indicating he was going to get off the bike. And I just had enough of it. I said, will you just go? 
just go because I, I, I just wanted to get on and get my son home. And of course, it continued the, the, the barrage of insults, I suppose they were, because he was speaking Thai, my Thai is not that good. Um, it kept going and kept going and kept going. And I just went, well, fuck you. And then the girlfriend went the same thing. And I realised straight away it was the wrong thing to do. Of course it was the wrong thing to do. We all know we shouldn't do it. How, before I get criticised, how many of you have never flipped the board when you have an altercation with someone on the road? How many of you have never flipped the board? If you've never flipped the board, you're in the minority, I think. Anyway, that's what I did. I was wrong to do it. And I was kind of regretting it, but kind of, definitely regretting it the second I did it. Because I was expecting him to get off the, off the bike and have a go at me, or have a go at the car. Anyway, he probably thought better off it. And in his, in his fury, he did a U-turn, again without looking, and zipped off. So I was, and Harry said to me, Harry said to me, what was going on there? And I said, he, put, he, he was the guy who, who we nearly missed. And Harry even knew, well, he's, he's only six, but he even knew that the motorcycle had shot out like a bullet in front of me. There was no way I could have foreseen him coming, given that the car to my immediate right had given me right away. You just go if you think that's it. You never expect someone on the outside of the car to shoot through like that. Anyway, all the way home, there was a traffic jam. We were moving at inches, inching along. And all the way home, we had about a, two kilometres to go home. And we're on that stretch of road. And I was looking at my rear view mirror, I looking at my wing mirror, and my door mirror, fully expecting him to come back with a weapon. And you might think, oh, what are you talking about, weapon? I'm telling you, that's what they do here. Before I made this video, I looked at road rage in Thailand. I uh, saw an incident where a guy cut someone off and the, the parent, the, by the way, they always cut you off here. They always cut you off here. Uh, but a guy cut him off and the guy beeped his horn and he overtook him. And then the guy who cut him off came back around again and blocked him and then went to the boot of his car, got out of the car, popped the boot or the, the, the trunk, as you say in the States, and took out a machete. And that's not uncommon at all. I, I said before the Thais have a short fuse. They're wonderful people. They are absolutely wonderful people and I love living here. But once you get them on the roads, they are completely different. And I'll always say, you know, never, never, never have an altercation with a Thai. It's just not worth it. It's just never worth it. And here's me giving you that advice and what did I do? I flipped the board. Completely wrong. But I was in the heat of the moment when they were screaming and shouting at me and I knew what he did was wrong even though he was in the right in other words he was proceeding on the right of way on the road but he was overdoing not, no helmets by the way t-shirts and shorts no helmets if I'd have hit them they were a goner imagine that and we were millimetres away from hitting them and then of course my argument wouldn't have stood up that the car had given way to me and I should have had due care and attention to see if there's anything coming on his outside but the motorcycle on his inside had stopped for me I didn't expect it I suppose you should always expect the unexpected of course you should when you're driving but you don't that's how accidents happen and we very nearly I, you know when you drive in Thailand especially Bangkok any time you do it you could have a life changing incident that could have been a life changing incident for me absolutely if I'd have clipped him, t-shirts and shorts with no helmet, I thought the speed, maybe he was going 60 kilometers an hour. 60 kilometers an hour outside of school. And that's the truth. What would have happened to him and his girlfriend? Well, they would have been, whatever, toast. And then my life would have been destroyed. So guys, when you come to Thailand, if you think, if you think you want to rent a motorcycle, go ahead and do it, but no that you're taking your life in your hands you really are you really are driving you've always got to be you, got, you, got, you need 360 degree vision because they can open your inside your outside they cut across you you're, you're, you're pulling out turning to your left or they're undertaking you and if you hit them as they're undertaking you you're still a fault imagine in the States it'd be the same as driving on the left and you're turning left and someone coming up on your inside as you're turning and they're going straight Imagine that. That's what happens here every day. Every day. And it's little wonder, as I said at the outset, that Thailand has one of the highest rates, if not the highest rate of road fatalities in the world. And you can probably see behind me, I'm not looking, well, 
I'm not looking behind me when I'm doing this and concentrating on what I was doing. That's what I was doing when I was driving the car. But you can see the amount of motorcycles. This is um, just gone 11.25 on a Friday. Happy Friday, if it's Friday where you are. Or happy whatever day it is. But I hope you're happy with the channel. This is a rant. And I, as I always say, when I... I I, I only make videos when I'm passionate about something. That's why I call it Alpha Omega. Alpha Omega. Alpha Omega. Can't even say it. Alpha Omega. Occasionally. So I'm passionate about this. I make sure. Oh, by the way, I still believe that I was wrong in so far as I didn't have 100% due care and attention. But who has? Who has? You don't expect someone to bullet out on the on the far side of the car when you're watching on the near side because you're pulling out. And by the way. 80% of motorcyclists drive on the wrong side of the road. If there's any kind of traffic congestion, they just come out on the other side and off they go. And you've got to be wary of that as well. So there you go. By the way, be aware. Be aware there's a like button, a share button, and subscribe button. And I'd be really, really glad if you clicked all of those. And I'd be extremely happy if you join me again for another wonderful video very soon. Thanks for joining me.